Hello, it's Stephen in wonderful Wiltshire in England. And I'm just waiting to go live. And hopefully this time, no, no. It worked. Okay, so if you're watching me live on the YouTube line, there you are. I was listening to myself. Um, okay, so we're good. Uh, it's Wednesday, it's three o'clock in the UK. It's 10 a.m. on the East Coast and 7 a.m. on the West Coast. And it's another episode on the One Stream Live YouTube channel. And today I'm going to talk to you about, if I bring it on screen, I'm going to talk to you about how to demonstrate gadgets live. This is part of the multi-streaming bootcamp, which has been taking place all of October. Uh, if you look at past broadcasts on the YouTube channel, you'll find many interesting ones from myself and DJ Strick. And um, let's come back to me. Okay, now I suppose the best place to start is with a word about my background. I, I live broadcast, well, rather than tell you live, I made a little video earlier. Shall we listen to it? Yes, we shall. Hello, this is Stephen, live from Wiltshire in England, and I'm a live broadcaster. I've been broadcasting live for the last eight years, and I'm pleased to meet you and tell you part of my story, which is all about live broadcasting. I sell gadgets. I sell gadgets, and these are Blue Yeti microphone, an Obspot tiny camera, you've got the uh, earbuds, you've got the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Stream Deck, all of which feature on my broadcasts on Amazon Live. I sell gadgets on Amazon Live for, for a living. And I'm so pleased to do it. It's basically my passion is for gadgets and for broadcasting. It brings the two together and it is so amazing. And they've even given me my own page on Amazon Live where all my broadcasts are stored. And I am one of thousands of live broadcasters on Amazon Live. And today I'm going to tell you about gadgets because I'm just so stoked about all this. And the thing is, I've got a secret. And the secret is that I can broadcast up to 45 different destinations from one stream. So I can go to Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I can go anywhere from one stream simultaneously. I create the one broadcast and it goes out everywhere and I don't need to do anything. So gadgets are my thing, cameras, microphones, lights. I'm happy to broadcast on Amazon Live, the world's fifth largest website. I'm happy that I've got my own page on amazon.com and uh, happy that I'm working with one stream and you have been listening to Stephen Healy live from Wiltshire in England and I'm going to be talking about how to demonstrate gadgets live I'm going to take you step by step through how you can make a living from selling gadgets thanks for watching take care and I'll see you all again soon bye Right, so that was the introduction. I recorded that earlier this morning. I could bring it into my one stream studio. I'll it out to you now. I want to say hello, future. Uh, thank you for the comments, and uh, your English is pretty good. And yes, you're quite right. I am a grandfather, so good observation there. Now, in terms of um, demonstrating gadgets there are various steps that we're actually going to go through and I'm going to bring on screen now our agenda for today and here it is okay so how to demonstrate gadgets live introduction is what I'm doing now and the video you just watched then I'm going to talk about camera presence watching other reviewers and there's other people uh, demonstrating live talking about product selection having knowledge of the product do you use the product you're selling? Uh, personal use of the product. 
where to stream and multi-streaming. As I mentioned in the video just now, uh, you can stream to up to 40 different places. <sighs> wow. Uh, then B-roll. Now, you just watched the B-roll just now. I brought in a video to play during the broadcast, and that video was of me, but equally well, it could have been a particular product. Engaging your audience, as I just did a moment ago with Future, and I said hello to Aman as well before we went live. Um, it's important. And using one stream live is the best way to actually go live and to demonstrate gadgets. So let's take these in turn. There is there is a big market. Selling on live video is worth billions. And there are thousands of people doing it, and you could be one of them. I'm going to try and help. If you've got any questions about any aspect of live broadcasting and gadget marketing, then do ask during the program. I shall check back on the integrated chat as time goes on and uh, we'll see how it goes so let's start at the beginning and the beginning is camera presence okay in order to demonstrate gadgets like let's say these aftershocks earbuds uh, Aeropex. In order to demonstrate this gadget, people have to be attracted to you first. Okay, just showing this on screen is a start, but they've got to be attracted to you, which means that you've got to find a way to communicate with people through the screen so that you leap out of the screen talking to people. In other words, you want to engage people, and you engage people by the way you actually broadcast. Now, on a, a mobile phone, it's very difficult to do that. But on a desktop system like OneStream, which is there, then it's easier to do because I can engage you right from the beginning by my presence on screen. Now, in terms of presenting, this is what my studio normally looks like. This is my studio, and you can see over here all the equipment that I actually sell when I'm on Amazon Live. Uh, you can see the product boxes, you can see the chess set, you can see the map of where I live. Um, this is a bit crowded, okay, because there are so many distractions. If somebody's watching you live, then they don't want to be distracted. What they want is to see you. They've come to see you talking about product, demonstrating gadgets. And I love demonstrating gadgets. I'm never happier than when I'm live broadcasting and demonstrating gadgets. Now, a gadget can be anything that you like it to be. In my uh, thinking, it is basically cameras, webcams, microphones, green screens, lighting, stands, anything to do with live broadcasting. Headphones. I love headphones. Um, so that's what I do is I actually... Uh, present on Amazon Live. Now, to present on Amazon Live, you do have to have a following and you've got to go through a process, which I'll cover in another video. But for today, being on camera is a learned skill. It's not something we're born with. Yeah, You can learn about how to present on camera. And the thing is, I'm going to give you some tips now. Presentation-wise, this is you presenting you talking to people. You've got to remember, it feels like you're actually talking to nobody, but people are actually listening to what you're saying. So camera presence. Make sure that you're roughly in the center of the screen. Make sure you've got headroom at the top, okay? People don't want to see you like that. That's bad, yeah? You want to be sat like this, yeah? So that people can see a gap at their top. Next. Do not move about too much. The more you move, the more distracting you are from you, yeah? A lot of people talk with their hands, and there's nothing wrong in that. But in a live video situation, it's best not to do that all the time. Put your hands down in front of you and just concentrate on being on camera. Now, being on camera is 
again, a learned experience. And the thing that you actually have to discover is that in order to be effective, you need to look at the camera. Yeah, looking at where the ca at the screen is not a good thing. Looking at the screen, you're not looking at your audience. Looking at the camera, you're actually looking at your audience and you're engaging people straight away because they think, well, it's as if you were in their living room talking to them, yeah, because they can see your eyes are looking directly at them. And that's a that is a learned skill and it does take practice. And occasionally you'll find me not looking at the camera, looking at the screen instead of looking at the camera. And you, you can't do anything about it, but you can practice and practice and practice. Now, dress. OK, I, I don't pay too much attention to dress, but you should be at your best. OK, people want to look and see if you're talking about a $200 or $160 headset, then you've got to look the part and you've got to look smart. And you've got to be reasonably well groomed as well. So all of that is about presence. OK, so the tips that I gave you then were one, look at the camera. Two, be in the center of the screen. Three, have headroom. Four. And this is well, number four. I'm going to go to number five now. You can't just go live. It's not going to work because you're not ready. You need to be camera ready. You need to be ready to go. And what we need basically is for you to be confident on camera. Now that comes because the more you go live, the more confident you get, the more confident you are, the more confident you can be when you're actually presenting live as I am now. Yeah. Now I have a simple tip to get you in the right frame of mind to actually broadcast live. And that's this. Start a Facebook group, invite a friend and go live in the Facebook group with your friend watching. Go live for about five minutes. At the end of that, ask your friend how you did. Now, if they're a good friend, they will tell you. They will tell you everything. They will tell you exactly how you appeared. And then, having learned what they've said, go live again. Repeat the exercise. Yeah? And learn again. Next, when you've got the confidence with just one person, expand that to three more people. So four of you in total. Go live again. Practice twice. And take the feedback from three people. These are your friends. They will help you. They will help you to become confident on camera. Next, invite another four people. So now eight people in the room. Same procedure as before. And then another eight until you've got 15 other people in the room watching you live. And then after each broadcast, they give you the rundown on what they thought. Now, all of this has taken place in private. Yeah. Amongst friends. It's been helpful. And you've now got a situation where you've done eight broadcasts. Yeah. And you're used to being on camera. You've taken their hints, tips and tricks and you've turned them into something that you can work with going forward. Then is the time to go live in the real world, go live on Facebook Live with your 15 friends watching. So you've got 15 supporters straight away. That is a proven way to do it. One person, four people, eight people, 16 people, and then you're ready for the world. And you, if you enjoy your first public broadcast, you'll go on to do many more. I've done thousands. Uh, I've lost count, but practice is important. How you look on screen is important. All of this is important. Now, there are many ways of actually going live. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to share my screen. Yeah. And I'm going to go over to a place where I broadcast on a regular basis. So I'm coming back to the studio now and we should have to write to me. You can see Amazon Live. This is the Amazon Live screen. And what you're looking at now is a broadcast with myself and Nick Wood yesterday. 
and we were live and we were selling cameras and microphones and doing our, our quiz. We break it up. We don't just have me and Nick to look at. We have a, a quiz from Trivia Plaza. And basically, we go through 10 questions, multiple choice, get the audience involved, answering the questions, because Nick and I don't always know the answer. And hello to Aman. And yes, I'm ready. I am live. And we're good. And thank you for watching. So, but the thing about this is, this is Amazon Live. And you can find it, if you go to Amazon.com, and you go to the menu down the left-hand side, you'll find Amazon Live. Now, the reason we're going here is not to look at myself and Nick, but if I go here and I go to Browse, okay, and then I go to Electronics, because that's what interests me, I can see, okay, everybody who's doing electronic broadcasts about electronics. I'll scroll down. I'm just going to mute it. OK, because we don't want that in the broadcast. If I go down, you can see all these people broadcast live and sell gadgets. OK, and you've got shops broadcast in their own right. Nick and I, Nick and me. All these people broadcast in their own right. Now, the thing is that you can actually learn from how people present. This is important. This is important because you can you can watch other presenters and see how they're broadcast for totally for free. These broadcasts are public, so you can go over to Amazon Live and you can watch different ways of presenting. Some people present sat down like I am. Some people present with the whole studio showing. Yeah. Some people present like this. Others present like this. OK. Some present stood up. So basically what we're going to do is just have a look at how it can be done. There is no right way. What you have to do is find your way. So I'm going to pick one of these at random. I'm going to go here and click that button and it will appear at the top of the screen and I will mute it. OK, so. The live stream is starting soon. I'm just going to fast forward, and there we have it. So Altavis is actually presenting now. She's presenting products. She's talking about the item that's highlighted. It's a travel cable organizer, which is down. Comments are coming in, and you can see underneath the carousel of the gadgets she's actually going to talk about. Okay, so very stood up, animated, and basically showing the product at its best. Again, countdown clock, we're going to skip forward. And here we have, we have four presenters on screen now. So the thing is, you don't have to sell gadgets solo. You can sell as part of a team. And uh, this is the team that are broadcasting from the Crown Channel. And uh, they're doing video games. And if I come down here, we can go to Impressive Things. And again, a small countdown clock, and then we're into the broadcast. And sat down with a background that's been created. OK, so sat talking against the background. Now, there are literally, I'll just go for one more. But there are literally thousands of live broadcasters who you can watch to learn about how presentation is done. OK, and here we have a duo and I'm going to slide forward a little bit. OK, and they are talking about printers. And I've muted the sound, but they're also showing B-roll. They're showing a video whilst they're live and talking about the video. So the video will have no sound, and they're talking about what's on the video. So coming back to our card, watch other reviewers. Go to Amazon.com, go to live video, and watch other reviewers as they present, because it's fascinating to see all the different styles, and you can. Choose one which suits you. 
okay and make it your own so if i go here and press play and i'm going to go here okay so again this is another games one let's see if we can find one that isn't gaming but gaming is obviously good and go here and check this one shop home deals and if i fast forward and there we are so again sat down with what i would say is an amazing background yeah so not only in terms of presentation it's not just you it's the background what you have is the opportunity to map out your background as you want and there are different ways of doing it i just got the green screen so that the concentration is on what i'm talking about but you clue well you can have a background like the one that we can see here where demonstrations going on lady is sat down and behind her is a background which attracts you yeah and the idea is is it's all about pulling viewers in to the live broadcast right i'm going to stop screen sharing now but all of that is on amazon.com and if i go here it's all on amazon.com it's all free and you can learn from other people it's important that you take the time to learn from other people and i'm just going to bring this in as a reminder and put it to the stream you are watching how to demonstrate gadgets live part of a multi-streaming boot camp uh, this month on one stream live and i am as it says there stephen uh so i'm going to come back over here so the important things before you actually get to the gadgets is the important thing before you get to the gadget and i'm just going to go try that again when you're live anything can happen i'm going to put this on screen add to stream and there we have it um so we've done camera presence we've done practice now we've just talked about watching other reviewers because there it's a free important resource you have to find you have to find your own way of presenting on screen you have to be yourself yeah you can't you can't copy other people because people can tell when you're copying yeah you have to be authentic that's the word i'm looking for be authentic on camera being authentic works all the time because you're always going to be yourself. Yeah. Okay. Next, product selection. Now, for me, product selection is an open-ended topic. Basically, when you're marketing, you can sell any gadget you like. You could sell headphones. You could sell mobile phones. You can sell mobile cases. I'm just going around my desktop and you can sell the most beautiful stand in the world from Lamicor. Okay, you can sell whatever you want. You can sell remote controls. The thing is to pick, pick something. This is, this, these two points are tied together. When it comes to picking products, you need to have product knowledge. Yeah? So, I'll give you an example. Okay. Now, when I... Uh, 8 o'clock every morning, I go out my front door and I go walking. And I'm armed with my Fitbit, my ice badge, in case of emergency badge. And I go out and I put these headphones on. Yeah, I pair them with my mobile phone. Okay, so I switch, switch the headphones on first. Okay, and then we're going to go here and I'm going to switch on. If I go to here and go, make sure these are on. Welcome to Aftershocks. Go to connections and you can see straight away that my headset is now connected to the phone which means that I can go here and here 
and I can start Amazon Music, pick an album, press play, and I'm now listening to Billy Idol. Okay, now, including that section are three products. And the products that we're talking about are these, the Aftershocks Aeropex. Aftershocks, an international company manufacturing in China. And I've got to say, I mean, I'm a jogger runner. I take part in Park Run every Saturday, 9 o'clock. I'm there with Angelica, and we walk, jog, run, 5 kilometers, 3.1 miles. So I'm part of the jogging set. And that means that I am part of groups on Facebook. Now, in terms of groups on Facebook, the question is asked virtually every week, which headphones do you wear? And the majority of people say aftershocks. Now, there are various models. These are the Aeropex. And they're down in, no, they're not down in the carousel because I'm on one stream now, not on Amazon Live. But you need to be able to talk about these. Okay. Now, these are excellent headphones. They've got great bass. Okay, sound is the important thing. And Aftershocks produce the most brilliant sound. Um, they've got a good bass. They've got a wide frequency range. And the thing is, though, about these headphones, that they are safety headphones. Because as you'll notice, it's not going in my ears. It's going in front of my ears. They're over the ear headphones. And that means that whilst I'm out and about jogging, walking around and cycling, I can hear the traffic behind me. I'm aware of my surroundings. It's very safety conscious. Right, that's point one. Point two, I live in England, okay? And when I go out at eight o'clock in the morning listening to rock music, wearing these, it rains. And when it rains, it rains hard. These head, This headset, this Aftershock Aeropex headset is waterproof. Yeah, which means, and I know this for a fact, that these just carry on working, even in pouring rain. So they're coated, they are waterproof. In addition to that, they are sweatproof. One of the problems is that when you go working out and you run fast, you actually sweat. Okay, now sweat is different from rain, and these are sweatproof. And the thing is that the charging point there, if I put that close to the camera, the charging point there basically has a sensor and if it senses any moisture it won't charge okay it's got a rain and sweat monitor which means you can't charge it you won't ruin the headphones now these weigh 28 grams they are lightweight they just slip off i forget i'm wearing them yeah and when i'm out and i'm walking and i'm listening to music i can hear everything around me I don't care about the rain because these are going to carry on work, walk, working in the rain. Um, simply, and how do they work? Oh, right, okay. You've got twin speakers there. The speakers vibrate. Vibration goes through your cheekbone to your inner ear. All of that is patented by Aftershocks, and I've got to say it simply works because it means you've no wires. I'm nothing in my ears. My ears are free to listen. And my peers... My fellow walkers, joggers, and runners, when they're asked on a regular basis which ones you use, all say, well, vast majority say aftershocks. Okay, that was a presentation. And in order to do that presentation, I've got to have product knowledge. Okay, product knowledge comes from actually using the product, personal use of the product. Do you use it? If you're going to sell something, you need to have product knowledge and you need to own it or have it in your possession. Yeah. If I'm broadcasting Amazon Live, 80% of what's in my carousel has to be to hand. Yeah. Now, you can learn about a product from the literature that comes with it, from using it, and from looking at the, the product page. In fact, the best way to find out about a product is to go to the product web page, key in the model number, and read the details there. Then go over to YouTube and watch the reviews that other people do. Okay. In the end, you're going to finish with your personal review, but by watching other people's reviews on YouTube, 
you're actually going to learn more than you would just on your own. And you pick up pointers. When I was, when I market the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, yeah, and let's just come back to the beginning. When I market this phone, I know all about this phone. But when I got it, I didn't. I knew nothing about the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I didn't know there were three models, 128 gig, 256 and 512. I didn't know it had a 108 megapixel lens on the back and a 40 megapixel lens on the front. I didn't know it basically adjusted itself in bright sunlight. I didn't know about the amazing photographs it would take. Yeah, this can take 8K photographs and shoot 8K video. I didn't know any of that. So I went off to YouTube and I watched people reviewing this and I learned tips and tricks along the way. I was helped by Guy Cook, who's a good friend, and Guy sent me links to videos about the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And I watched them and I learned. Yeah. So as well as having it, I'm watching other people do it. And there is no problem with listening because people are there to share knowledge. And on YouTube, they share it freely. What you can do if you watch somebody's YouTube videos, two things, three things. One, like the video. Two, follow the account for any updates. And three, write a comment. Those three things are your payment for actually getting information from a YouTube video. And it works. It's a win-win situation. You're saying thank you. And you're saying it in a polite way. Like, follow, comment. Yeah. So you get your product knowledge. And you become confident about the product. Now, going back to what we said earlier, having a group of people watching you, present the product in the group. And people get people to ask you questions about it. And what you'll find out is you don't know everything. There isn't anybody who knows everything about this phone. I know a lot of things that are important. I've picked out the important things and I will talk about those whilst I'm broadcasting. I send people to the product page to find out more, to get the full technical specs. There's no problem with doing that. But as you probably guessed by now, and I use the products that I market, the gadgets that I market. And that means that I can talk about them knowledgeably. Okay. And I'm just going to go over here and somewhere over here, possibly. This, this is my favorite lapel microphone. When I'm, I'm live on desktop during the week, but the weekend I go out with my mobile phone and I actually shoot video stonehenge avery salisbury cathedral and to do that i've got the mobile phone yeah and i've just described part of it to you but i also have with me a widget okay this here is a lapel microphone in fact it's this lapel microphone it's the power wise three and a half mil jack microphone, yeah. And whilst the microphone in my mobile phone is good, the microphone here is better. And what you've got, if I put this close to the camera so you can see, is you've got the microphone and it's got a crocodile clip or alligator clip. And the other end of it, or to install it, first of all, because I'm always giving installation instructions on new kit, Basically, what you do is you take it like so and you install it. Okay, so that Sorry, microphone I is. I don't know that one. I've got an Echo Dot helping me today. That is now installed. And the beauty of the Pell microphone is that it's up against your body, which means that you absorb a lot of the background noise and the voice that's heard on the microphone is yours. Right. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is this has got a three and a half mil jack. And a three and a half mil jack, if you look at the bottom of my phone there, if I put it close to the camera, you can see there isn't anywhere for this to go. I can't plug this into the phone. Won't fit. Doesn't fit. So this is the gadget I want to show you. Because this is a $7.80 gadget. And basically... This means that I can take that three and a half mil jack 
put it into there, and then the other end plugs into my phone in the power socket, and this microphone is now connected to that phone. No software, no nothing. It simply works. For $7.80, I've been able to use my favorite microphone on an up-to-date mobile phone, and that's basically what I talk about. So I, I demonstrate this product. I demonstrate this gadget. And for a moment there, I'd forgotten where I put it. I tried to keep everything in place because if you looked around my uh, broadcasting studio, let's call it that, then you'd find a, a lot of kit that I can actually show you. So demonstrating is knowing the product. You have to know the product. You can get the knowledge personally, but you can also get the knowledge from watching YouTube videos. Yeah. So select products you're interested in, okay, you're passionate about. If you're passionate about art, select art products. If you're select, passionate about cooking, select cooking products, yeah? And just forgive me for a second. I'm going over here. Aman, yeah, thank you, and namaste, hello, uh, okay, and thank you, everybody who's watching and commenting live. It's a pleasure. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to actually be live on YouTube on a schedule broadcast. This is, this is, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you uh, to the, everybody at One Stream Live because today was smooth, worked perfectly. Anyway, so that's the gadget. Okay, three and a half mil to USB-C and it makes sure that this lapel microphone can work. Now, a thing about demonstrating products such as this product, okay, is that this product as a home, yeah? So when you're demonstrating gadgets, what you should do is you should put them away afterwards. So this is the case that the lapel microphone comes in, and all I need to do is to put the lapel microphone in there, okay, zip it up like so, and I can read the words on the back. Words can change lives, record them perfectly. And this microphone, this lapel microphone, does that with the aid of this widget. Okay, so demonstrating gadgets. What else can I show you? I'll show you something else before we go. But basically, it is all about product knowledge. Okay, and I'm just going to do, it is 10.37. 3.37 in the UK, and uh, we're doing well. I haven't, got, I haven't got through half of my agenda yet. So um, that was just a, I wanted, because I, yeah, yeah, I'm just glad that you're actually watching me live today. And uh, we're going to go next. As you can see, I'm on one stream live. So the question is, where do you, I mean, got the confidence, and the products and the product knowledge, where do you go live? Well, first of all, uh, OneStream Live has a live selling feature. So if I go here and I go to live sales and I go to here and I show this on screen, okay? As soon as I showed that on screen, a link was posted, hopefully, on YouTube. Live selling means that you can sell products whilst you're live, talk about them, demonstrate them, and sell them whilst you're live. I could sell you this, okay? And this is Angelica's courses. And again, the link's gone through. So whilst I'm live, from within my one stream studio, I can sell, and I can post the links on Facebook and YouTube. And that's important. But where to go live? Okay. You can broadcast live on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, no, and Instagram. Facebook, for all of those, you have to qualify. Facebook have, well, it's a long time since I did it because I've been broadcasting live for eight years. Facebook have a set of rules which are not too difficult to get into. YouTube have a set of rules too, uh, and but again, not not difficult to get into. So Facebook and YouTube, 
If you want to broadcast on sell on TikTok, you need a thousand followers. Yeah? You can't just go live on TikTok. You can watch on TikTok, but you can't go live unless you have a thousand followers. My friends have got a thousand followers and they enjoy going live on TikTok. Instagram, again, you've got to have the right to actually broadcast live. And uh, again, friends are doing that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a desktop guy. I go live. Well, my preferred place to go live is Amazon Live for the reasons I showed you earlier. Um, insofar as I basically, the way Amazon Live works is I go live. I'm demonstrating product. Okay. $7.80, $1,200. Uh, a wide range of product. And I earn commission. I earn affiliate commission on Amazon. Amazon is the best place to actually earn some money whilst you're live. You have to have a following. Yeah. Basically, you, you are vetted by Amazon. Then you become, you open a store on Amazon. That's hurdle number one as an influencer. Then you become a rising star. You apply to actually broadcast live. And before you can broadcast live fully, you've got to record yeah, 90 minutes of video and then they do an audit on it and tell you whether you can actually broadcast live on their channel. Now, I've been broadcasting on Amazon Live for over two years now, selling everything. Um, and I just enjoy it so much. It is a worthwhile job, but you, you have to practice. You have to be in the zone. You have to be up for it. Okay, nobody wants to watch somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about and is miserable. You have to be in the mood, yeah, to present. But you can do it on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Amazon Live, Instagram, TikTok, multiple places where you can broadcast live. And the thing is, with OneStream Live, you can broadcast live to them all at the same time. OK, now you're going to say to me, OK, I'm broadcasting to six different locations. How on earth do I monitor comments? And the answer is one stream live has integrated chat for some of the platforms at the moment, probably all of them in time. But you can have a team member. You can be the talent on screen. So I'm on screen presenting. And somebody else is in the background, somebody else is in the background, and they are moving things about the screen. They are showing text on the screen. They are sharing videos. And all I have to do is just be here. Yeah, that's it. That's the talent talking. Simple, straightforward. It's not simple. I mean, I'm telling you, you have to practice this. There is no way that you can just turn up and sell. You have to practice. You've got to go through the list that I mentioned earlier where get the camera presence. Watch other reviewers. Amazon Live. Watch people on Amazon Live. Select products that you're passionate about and make sure you know about them. Watch video reviews on YouTube to make sure that you can get the knowledge. And if you can... It's always best if you can actually show the product on screen. I'm looking around for something I can show on screen. Um, let's go here. Okay. Now, when you when you become known for live broadcasting, then manufacturers will approach you and say, will you talk about my item on your live broadcast? And they will send the item to you and then you talk about it. These are Sound Beats earbuds. These have the most amazing reviews on Amazon from people who love music and love audio. And basically, you've got the charging case and you can recharge the earbuds four times. I'll take the earbud out and basically it's now switched on. And if I go to my mobile phone and just give me a second to set this up, um, I know where I want to go. I've just got to get there. Okay. And if I go to my app here, you can see in a second, hopefully this will work. Didn't work for Nick yesterday. Um, okay. And what I've got to do is just a second. And I'm going to 
connect. Okay, and I can go to there, there, just give me a sec. I need to close a few things. And then I'm gonna, I know I'm taking the wrong turn. Okay, now with live video, I can't cut that bit out. Okay, but what I was trying to show you, you have to take my word for it now, um, is, just a minute, Okay, and no, it didn't work with Nick yesterday. Okay, but people will send you product. So you've actually got the product, you can learn about it, and then you can talk about it. You can broadcast anywhere you like with the OneStream Studio up to 45 different places at the same time. You can get a teammate in to help you behind the scenes. Right, okay, now earlier I played you a video. One of the things that you can do is that you can prepare video to broadcast whilst you're live. Okay, if I show you for a moment. Basically, I uploaded this video earlier. I'm gonna bring it into the stream now. I'm just gonna play it. I'll be back in a second. Hello, this is Stephen, live from Wiltshire in England, and I'm a live broadcaster. I've been broadcasting live for the last eight years and I'm pleased to meet you and tell you part of my story, which is all about live broadcasting. I sell gadgets. I sell gadgets, and these are Blue Yeti microphone, an Obspot tiny camera. You've got the uh, earbuds. You've got the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Stream Deck, all of which feature. On now that video is known as B-roll. Uh, basically, it's a video that's brought in to play during a live video, as far as we're concerned. Now, you can make videos, pre-recorded videos, about products. So I could make I could make a video about the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, and instead of having to do it live, I can play the video, and then I can refer to the video. So B-roll allows you to show a gadget in action. Yeah. Now, the thing about recorded video is you can practice and practice and practice and then shoot the video yeah that video that i've just shown you there and brought into my studio i did three practices before i did the final recording and you can do that when you're talking about the earbuds okay and of course i'm going to put these back in their case yeah now the thing is you can tell hopefully that i enjoy doing this um and I'm grateful that I am doing this. And I just put those back, put that down there. And B-roll is a way of actually bringing in reviews you've done earlier. And basically, if you review something, it's a recorded video, and you can then bring it in during your live show, but not just one show, you can bring it in on any show that you want. It's there forever. Okay, now the next thing which I'm working on is, and this is why you need a team member, is the ability to engage your audience. Okay, I'm totally concentrated now on you. Right now, I'm talking to you. My mind is not on checking the chat. Okay, I want to do this broadcast. I want to make this broadcast the best I can make it, as I do with all broadcasts. And therefore, I'm not concentrating on the chat. But if you've got an assistant, a teammate in your one stream studio, they can be answering the chat as you're talking. And that's the best way to do it. So one stream live paired version allows you to bring in team members to actually administer, to move things about screen and to answer the chat whilst you're live, which makes for a perfect selling scenario because I can go to live. Oh, uh, the chat's working now. Oh, Right, I can see that the links I posted earlier have actually been posted on YouTube. Absolutely brilliant. Um, somebody behind the scenes can actually check everything out, can do the chat and everything. So they can help you engage. You can engage verbally and with your hands if you wish. They can engage in text. Okay, now, throughout the whole of this broadcast, Throughout the whole of this broadcast, just a moment, I want to remove the distractions. And in fact, I'm going to come back 
to me. Okay, throughout the whole of this broadcast, I have been using OneStream Live. OneStream Live is ideal for what we've been talking about today, which just remind ourselves, I don't think I've gone too far off topic, but today we have been talking about how to demonstrate gadgets live, and I've done some gadget demonstrations. And this has all been within the OneStream Live studio, broadcasting out to a scheduled broadcast on YouTube. And it's just, it's a joy to use OneStream Live for this. OneStream Live is made for presentations. If I was demonstrating, I could actually zoom out. Yeah, I can, I can demonstrate fully. I can pick the chess set or the books or whatever. Yeah, um, I just want to show you one thing though. Uh, one of the things that you want to be able to do when you're selling products is to solve people's problems. And I love demonstrating this. This is the Elgato Stream Deck. It has 15 keys, three rows of five keys. Each of those keys can either open a cram tab, open an application, or change the screen display in a program like this. This has changed the way that I work. I'll explain that if you join me over on Amazon. Okay, so, teaser there. Uh, I love enjoy, I do enjoy demonstrating products. I enjoy being on OneStream Live. I wanna say thank you, everybody who's watched live and watched the replay. This has been Stephen, live from Wiltshire, England. Back again, same time next week. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye for now. Oh, remember, you can do this. You can get your camera presence right. You can, let's put this on screen. Let's just run through it one last time. And I'm gonna show it on screen. Yep. So, we did the introduction. We talked about camera presence and basically practicing with your friends in a private Facebook group about being in the center of the screen, about having headroom. And I did say that you can go to Amazon Live on amazon.com and watch other people presenting. You need to get your own style. Whether you want to sit down, stand up, run around, watch other people doing it and get some ideas from them. Product selection. Choose products that you're passionate about, a product range. If you're passionate about cooking, choose cooking. If you're passionate about uh, live video, choose webcams and microphones. Uh, if you're passionate about fitness, choose Fitbits and Garmin watches. Make sure that you know about the product because you're gonna be asked questions whilst you're live and the more product knowledge you have, it's okay to say whilst you're live, I'll find out for you and I'll tell you on my next broadcast. That's not a problem. Uh, because we can't know everything. And if possible, use the product yourself, because then when you're actually talking, you can. I'm just waiting for something to happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, you, you can give your own personal view of things. With OneStream Live, you can multi-stream up to 45 destinations, and uh, you can play B-roll within the live broadcast. And don't forget to engage your audience. That's what they're there for. They're there to chat with you, to find out about you, to find out about the products. You are as important as the products. And finally, OneStream Live is the best way to go live. Bar none. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye for now.